um, and just in my content alone. So uh, here's where we'll start. I got an email this morning from, actually not an email, I take that back. I opened the YouTube app, YouTube Studio app, which is how content creators like me track our content, approve comments, and do all kinds of functionality things without having to be at a PC. I opened it up and I got a pop-up from YouTube. YouTube says, starting in early February 2023, they are going to fully monetize YouTube Shorts just like they fully monetize regular videos on YouTube. And basically what's going to... Why are you staring at me? Basically what's going to happen is... Why are you staring at me? What's going on? Oh, look at this. He's rubbing my face. Let's try this again. In, in January, what they're going to do is amend everyone's partner contracts. So if you're interested in monetizing YouTube Shorts, you got to sign a new contract that just says, you know, okay, now these are included and we're going to pay you yada, yada, yada. I don't even know because they haven't even said what the contract is yet. So you don't even know. <clears throat> um, you don't even know, like, what it's going to be. Will it be the same exact revenue share that they offer on ads for regular videos? Or is it different for the YouTube Shorts? Is there an incentive to make Shorts? They haven't really explained yet. I guess what they're saying is in January, get ready, because in January, we're going to hit you with the new information, okay? Now, here's the thing. The last couple of months, I implemented YouTube Shorts in my content. How do I use Shorts? Two ways. Way number one is a daily schedule that I call the Short Schedule, where every day when I'm shutting down for the day, I just open my phone for one minute and I tell you what's going on and what's going to be coming the next day, okay? The reason I started doing this is because I used to do something called the Audio-Only Schedule on Twitter, all right, and people really liked it because that was very good for uh, people who were sight impaired. They could just listen to it and know what I'm doing the next day rather than having to look at my typed out schedule. And it was very digestible. You just click it, boom, listen, done. All right. So people said, hey, why don't you implement that with a short instead? Instead of just posting that on Twitter, why not do something actually on your real YouTube channel? That way people will bring the traffic to your channel rather than your Twitter account. And I was like, I guess that makes sense, right? Now, the other use that I have for YouTube Shorts is when I have my day off once a week, I make an honest effort to try to highlight some of the best moments of the week that have happened here on DSP Gaming. Whether it's a silly moment that happened in gameplay, whether it's a game bug or a crash, whether it's a rage-filled moment of something I screwed up, whether it's just something funny that I did uh, or a reaction that I had, whatever it may be, something that I want to highlight that I think would be interesting for you guys, I'll do a short of that as well. And usually I make one to two of these a week like I said, on my one day off. So that being said, here's what's happened with these shorts in the last two months. When I first started making them, immediately they blew up in popularity, and the first short had like over 10,000 views. Now, I haven't had 10,000 views on a gameplay video in like six, seven months. Seriously. So to see a YouTube short get that much attention is like, whoa, what happened? And what it is is it was the, the appeal of that Phil has never done a short before, and here's Phil talking to his camera phone, which makes him look different. Because remember, back then, I didn't have this new webcam um, that shows more quality. It was a, a high-definition camera phone. And people were like, whoa, I didn't know Phil looks like that because he looks blurry on his camera. So I think it was kind of a double factor of me doing shorts for the first time, plus combining that with the fact that I looked very different in the shorts because of the camera I was using. had a better quality, okay? But what I've noticed in the last two months is that the initial interest has completely waned. And the shorts just keep going like this, all right? So what was first had thousands of views, then went down to 5,000 views, then went down to 2,000 views, then went down to 1,000 views, all right? Now, the short schedule is barely getting 400 views a day, if that, okay? I've noticed, even this week, I've noticed a distinct down, you know, spike downward in the views that I get on the short schedule, okay? Um... As for the highlights that I do during the week, it really depends on the highlight. For example, if I do a highlight that's popular, it'll maybe get anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 views maybe as a short. Um, and then sometimes highlights don't catch on and they do like just a couple hundred views. You know, For example, this last week, I highlighted two things. I highlighted me in my Halloween costume looking like an idiot and then also having my mic muted because I was a moron at the beginning of my Halloween event and I make fun, made fun of myself. I poked fun at myself with a voiceover. That did all right. I think at this point it has like a little bit over a thousand views. Um, let's see. Actually, it has almost two thousand views, which I didn't even realize. I thought it only had like a thousand. It's almost two thousand views. Okay. The other highlight that I made was my Modern Warfare One campaign. Excuse me, Modern Warfare Two campaign premiere. The first part <clears throat> where you play as Ghost 
and I accidentally didn't realize you weren't supposed to walk off a cliff, and it literally is super reminiscent of Dark Souls 11, 12 years ago. Me just stepping right off the cliff, and boom, instant death. So I thought that was funny. Legit, I think in one case, it's kind of silly and stupid because I'm wearing a Halloween costume and I'm muted. In the other case, it's legit funny because I'm just being dumb and I walk off the cliff. The, the clips performed the opposite I thought. I thought the cliff one would do way better. It did half as well as the Halloween one, you see? And as I go through my shorts here, <clears throat> it's very hit or miss. It's weird because some of the short schedule videos, as little as a week and a half ago, were getting almost 2,000 views. But then some of them don't barely get any views. Here's a short that I did. The worst game ending I've ever seen. This was me highlighting the end of Scorn. 3,000 views. Not bad. And then the highlight of my Halloween uh, Fantasy Battle Royale in WWE 2K22. Eh, about 2,300 views. That's not bad, you know. So I'm looking at these. And I'm like, you know, the functionality of shorts. Like, how can I really use it? Can I use it to highlight content on my channel? Yes, I can. Um, but it seems to me like the short schedule maybe is not working. And this is what I was doing. You know, I did it because you guys said this is how you can implement shorts. That's why I started doing it. So if you guys don't feel there's a use for short the short schedule, if you think that it doesn't really serve a purpose, then I won't do it anymore. You know, when I started, it was getting thousands of views. Now it barely gets 424 hours. So if you don't think that there's a, a, a point to it, Maybe what I'll do is I'll just do it for the rest of this week and then we'll retire it. And then what we'll do is we'll reserve shorts only for me to highlight gameplay on the channel, okay? Uh, now, here's the thing. I'm sure there's going to be some days when something hilarious happens in my gameplay, it's immediately going to come to mind and I'll be like, oh, I can highlight that, right? But there's going to be other days when I'm not going to remember anything and I'm going to need you guys to help me to tell what, what you want me to highlight. And normally... I don't have a lot of time to do it, but maybe if I'm doing it on a daily basis and I'm not doing the short schedule, maybe I can remember like one thing a day to highlight, or maybe it would be every other day, but at least if there's something, you know, funny or silly or notable that happens in a playthrough. Like yesterday, I'm at the end of a Playtale Requiem. I got a ridiculous game bug. It was so dumb. The whole graphics were glitching out and everything, and maybe that could be a good highlight. Um, or at the end of uh, Modern Warfare 2, I had some weird things happen, some, some weird glitches. Maybe you could highlight that. Right? I don't know what we would have today because today we're doing Gotham Knights and Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Maybe something funny will happen in the multiplayer, you know? Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. It, maybe maybe the short schedule doesn't make sense anymore. And maybe what I should do is instead only highlight notable moments in the gameplay. But I need your feedback on that. Please give me your feedback today. Obviously, those who are live on stream right now and those who are watching this on demand, please leave a comment on the video. Let me know what do you think about the future of shorts, the short schedule. Do you think it's good, or do you think that it doesn't really serve a purpose? Wallowing Whiskey says, well, if the short schedule is kind of like the audio-only schedule and you did it for visual-impaired people, why not continue to provide that service for them? Well, because I haven't really got much positive feedback about it. It would have been one thing if I started doing it and people were like, wow, this is really serving a purpose. I don't think it is. You know, I just don't. I don't think it is. Maybe it makes sense to just go back to, the short, to doing the audio-only schedule on Twitter and don't do the short schedule on my YouTube channel, you know? The way I see it, I don't want to flood the channel with unnecessary stuff. And if you guys think the short schedule is unnecessary, I'd rather save the shorts for when it's something notable or important. And again, next year, I just got the notice, next year these are going to be monetized. So if they're going to monetize the shorts, I want people to watch the shorts. I don't want to be just pumping out a short that no one cares about, and there's an ad on it too. You know what I'm saying? So I guess maybe it, uh, from the, the feedback I'm getting in the chat, people are saying get rid of the short schedule. That's what they're saying. They're saying you don't need it. Short should be safe for clip-worthy moments to draw people to your actual playthroughs. Watching a short or streamer schedule is unappealing. I'm, I'm okay with discontinuing it. I totally am. I, I, I'll discontinue it tonight. I'll just say, hey, guys, this is. The, I just want to say goodbye because this is it for the short schedule. I got overwhelming feedback. You guys don't really like this. Uh, if you want my schedule, it's posted here on the community tab every day and on my Twitter, you know. And I talk about it every morning on the Level 1 podcast, so I don't need to do this anymore, but I will continue to do shorts of highlights of gameplay moments. I'll do that tonight. Okay, fine. Only funny moments. All right, fair enough. You're done. Good. 
that's exactly the feedback I wanted. If you completely disagree with this, let me know today. Leave a comment on this podcast if you completely disagree and you find those useful. But I'm, I'm just taking your feedback and people are just saying, yeah, you don't really need it. Like, it's not really doing anything. Okay, fair enough. If you think that it's not worthy, it's not doing anything, hey, it's extra work for me too. I'll, I don't have to do it. Oh, fuck, I'll do something else. Like I said, I could take that time that I'm thinking, oh, I got to do this, this short schedule. And maybe I could highlight a funny moment from, from the gameplay that day instead. If I can think of something for that day. Every day it's not going to happen. You're not going to have a genius idea every day of what to highlight, you know. But maybe that's what I should do is at the end of every day think of that back of what I did that day. And think if I can think of a moment to highlight, right? Like yesterday during the gameplay, people were outright saying this could be a top 10 funniest moment of the year moment. And, uh, you know, we'd like to see that highlighted somewhere. But the problem was I wasn't paying attention because I wasn't thinking of doing this. And now I don't remember what it was, <laughs> you know.